Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question which is the most reliable battery powered security camera with a solar panel or solar panel option in 2022. As you know, I'm testing a lot of security cameras, surveillance cameras and a lot of them have some reliability problems. I mean here I'm really not talking about the most fancy options. I'm not uh, talking about free cloud. I'm not talking about time lapse and uh, other crazy things which are built in. Uh, here I'm just talking about reliability and we want the camera to catch everything which is really like human movement. Uh, we don't want to catch uh, waving trees, branches, uh, small animals whatsoever. We just want the camera to catch when somebody like a real person is moving in front of the camera and actually every time. And so I have my two favorites at the moment in the, I would say summer 2022. Uh, two really really awesome cameras and I can prove you that here on the cloud edge. Unfortunately, both of them are on the Cloud Edge app. I mean, this is a very nice app. It's a, it's a good app, but it doesn't provide any free cloud option. But still, I love these two cameras because of their absolutely awesome reliability compared to other cameras. I mean, I have them in a very difficult space where a lot of cameras are highly struggling. They are sometimes not catching my movements and sometimes they are producing false alerts every couple of seconds and then it consumes the whole battery and it's difficult to find the real footage when somebody has been moving. So the first thing is the Morecam GX1S. I mean, basically it's the GX1S. There are many manufacturers which are producing them and they are basically the same as long as they are working with the Cloud Edge. So there are about five different manufacturers or sellers for the GX1S. So it doesn't uh, matter if you are buying from the Morecam or something else. Uh, I have found a little bit of a difference, but it's, it's very minimal. So if you want to be sure that you have the perfect one by the Morecam. So here I'm going to the live view and you can see it's working. I have it outside since about two weeks in rain and sun and everything. And what we want to see here is the history. And the crazy thing is it's saying no video available. What does it mean? It hasn't produced any kind of false alerts today and when we go to calendar we can even see there was no false alert even yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before so the last thing it has been recorded is uh, like uh, about five days ago last friday so let's check on that what it has and it has really caught me when i was spraying in my backyard against the weeds and that's about it that's everything nothing else you can see how reliable this really is and so a lot of days where it has nothing the only situation where i have found a false alert was here on this date yeah i don't know why it's saying uh, no video yeah here we have it you can see heavy rain i mean we had a lot of rain it was not only at this time but there must have been something special because yeah we had a lot of rain also a lot of rain during the night and usually they were absolutely uh, no false alerts it was only during this time i don't know what happened maybe there was some light here in the back something special other than that absolutely perfect and then let's go to the second camera and that's the NREN S02 let's also go to the live view and let's go to the history and same thing no video for today of course because there hasn't been anything and uh, here what we can see it has caught something on july 4th and that was one false alert but uh, that's uh, basically the only thing when we go further back we can see the next thing is on july 1st same thing uh, yeah when i have been spraying uh, in my backyard that's the only thing which it has been 
uh, catching so I would say it's absolutely perfect exactly what I wanted of course it didn't catch everything I think I have even a cool down period something like that but yeah for me absolutely perfect if I want to know if something has happened I mean especially if you are away from the home or so and you don't want to waste like hours to check all the footage all the false alerts when nothing has been uh, these are the two cameras to go when we compare them even though they are using the same app they have a little bit of a difference there's especially one thing which i like with the more cam when we go to the alarm management we have even this alarm area where we can exclude some areas from creating some alerts and that's of course very helpful so i have excluded all these areas with trees here and everything which could uh, be shaking in the wind or, or create false alerts and it looks like it's doing an awesome job and this is even included in the free version you don't have to pay for extra subscription this is really included with the nren we don't have this when we go into the alarm management you can see there is nothing here so if you have a really really special situation very difficult situation especially uh, maybe you have a ro your home entrance and there are many cars moving like uh, on the street or so and this could cause a lot of false alerts then the perfect camera would be the Morecam GX1S but it also has one disadvantage, a little bit of a small disadvantage. You can also already see that here, that it takes more time to connect and it sometimes has a little bit of connectivity issues. I mean, it says Wi-Fi 100%. I have a, a beacon very close here, but uh, if you don't have Wi-Fi very close, it can be a little bit of an issue, even though it has two large antennas. It's not the best, it's not the worst. I would say it's just about average uh, regarding the Wi-Fi connection and the NRAN is definitely much better regarding Wi-Fi connection. It's one of the best cameras regarding Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, it took, takes a little bit longer this time, but usually it's very good and you can put it uh, very far away from your home and you still have very good Wi-Fi connection. By the way, both of them are like PTC cameras, the NRN, uh, you can just move to the left and to the right, you can add this thing here, you can move the camera here to the left side and you can move it also to the right side, absolutely no problem, but you can't move it up and down and the uh, more cam gx one as you can even move up and down and left and right so it's a little bit more flexible but uh, this is uh, actually very rare that you have to move a camera up and down so for me usually uh, I, I'm, I'm not using that as, uh, but maybe if you have a special situation special location then it might be helpful I just want to let you know about this difference as well other than that they are very very close very similar both absolutely reliable my best camera so far and so if you're interested in one of them I'll put down the links of both of them down into the description so you can check them out and order the one you like more directly from Amazon and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time